everyone and welcome back to Jus de Rose. With Mother's Day coming up in the US, I wanted to share with you my top fragrance recommendations. If you're looking for addictive and unique fragrances to buy for your mom or for yourself, because why not, then this video is for you. Let's kick off with one of my all-time favorite fragrances, which is Gris Charnel from BDK. I took this fragrance on holiday with me whilst I was with my mom and she really enjoyed this fragrance, so I thought that I would include it in today's video. This fragrance is for those of you who enjoy really spicy fragrances with a cozy yet chic aspect about them. So Gris Charnel smells like a frothy chai latte with little bits of fig in it. It's spicy, warm and creamy, lifted with a light fruity sweetness coming from the fig. In the dry down on my skin, I get a powdery touch which gives it an undeniable elegance. It smells so delicious and amazing and in my opinion, this is one of the best fragrances from BDK and you can find it on Max Aroma who is the sponsor of today's video. I'll make sure to pop all the links to the fragrances in the description box down below. Max Aroma is a fragrance e-tailer which has a huge selection of niche fragrances and has some of my favorite brands like Initio Parfum Privé, Memo and the list goes on. What I also like about it is that you can purchase samples which are around 8 ml so quite a substantial size which enables you to properly test the fragrances prior to buying the full-size product. I always say this on my channel, never blind buy fragrances, especially niche perfumes which are really pricey. So for me having an option to purchase a sample first is always a big plus when it comes to purchasing fragrances online. The delivery on Max Aroma is super quick with two-day shipping on selected items as well as free returns so you don't need to pay for shipping which is great and if you're based out Outside of the US like I am they do ship internationally as well and I receive my products within a few days so again really speedy. Now for Mother's Day they have a special offer where you can get a free toiletry bag on orders of over $150, free gift wrapping and also special Mother's Day boxes so make sure you don't miss out on that. Now on to fragrance number two which is Petra by Masque Milano. This fragrance is for those of you ladies who are looking for a classy signature scent that is womanly and utterly feminine. I'd recommend this scent if you're into Chypre compositions and and fragrances such as Coco Mademoiselle and Miss Dior. With fruity notes and sensual florals of jasmine and rose, Petra has a classical top and heart composition that is juxtaposed with an impactful base of ambergris, incense and patchouli. I get a lot of the ambergris and the incense right from the start which brings an addictive sensuality. It's a super lavish fragrance, it smells expensive and is totally over the top. In terms of performance, on my skin it lasts around 10 hours with moderate projection and I would recommend wearing this fragrance if you have a fancy dinner party to go to. Pair it with a silky black dress, gold accessories and you're good to go. For those who are really into intoxicating, super powerful fragrances with a dominant floral note, I'd recommend you try Psychedelic Love by Initio Parfum Privé. It is a gorgeous, creamy floral with notes of almond, vanilla and ylang ylang. Simply put, it's a delicious creamy treat with opulent florals and the ylang ylang is going to bring a touch of exoticism. A unique head-turning fragrance that is feminine and bold. If you like fragrances such as Black Orchid or Velvet Orchid by Tom Ford or heady floral amber scents, Psychedelic Love is going to be right up your alley. And in terms of performance, just like all Initio fragrances, this is going to be beast mode. On my skin, it lasts 12 hours plus with a really strong projection, so everyone can smell you, but you can also smell your fragrance throughout the day, which is nice because when it smells really good, I personally like to smell my scent all of the day. So if this is important to you, then you're going to get your money's worth with Psychedelic Love. Now, not everyone wants super strong, opulent, intoxicating fragrances. I know some people do like fragrances that are softer and lighter, and so I would recommend you try Kedu by Memo and if you've been following me for a while you know my obsession with Memo fragrances. The scents are amazing and the packaging, the bottles are stunning so I couldn't resist to get this perfume and add it to my 
ever-growing collection of memo scents. So Kedu is a citrus floral musky scent with notes of grapefruit, neroli, mate tea, musk, and a surprising note of sesame. It's fresh and uplifting due to the grapefruit, but without being overly citrusy and blends beautifully with the softness of neroli. I love the sesame seed note in this scent. It's unusual and brings an edge to the fragrance so that it stands out amongst other typical citrus floral scents. This perfume is for those of you who like soft, musky fragrances. It is super easy to wear, a great daytime fragrance that you can wear casually during the day, but also in an office environment, say that wouldn't allow you to wear too much fragrance, but you still want to smell clean and good, then I would recommend you try Kedu. And in terms of performance on my skin, it lasts around six hours with soft projection. So this is more of an intimate scent. Next, we have a soft vanilla fragrance by Stéphanie de Bruyne. It is Le Sully. This is a warm and sensual scent with notes of bergamot, iris, benzoin, vanilla, and amber. To my nose, I get an unexpected tartness in the opening, which is a little unusual for a vanilla dominant fragrance. But as it dries down, the warmth of amber and benzoin will reveal itself along with powdery nuances. So overall, this fragrance is a soft powdery vanilla and reminds me, funny enough, of Play-Doh. And because of this, I get a little bit of a nostalgic feeling, if you know what I mean. So I would recommend this fragrance if you're looking for a non-sticky vanilla scent that is soft and a little bit powdery. In terms of performance on my skin, it lasts around nine hours with soft projection. Next up, we have an awesome tea fragrance. It is Wulong Cha by Nishane. So many of you have recommended this fragrance to me over the years, and I gotta say, to me, this is a 10 out of 10 tea scent. Wulong Cha is a juicy tea scent and one of the strongest and longest lasting fresh tea perfumes that I've come across. In the opening, you get a burst of bergamot, which is peppery and kind of Earl Grey tea-like, laced with orange, nutmeg, oolong tea, and musk. Wulong Cha is perfect for summer. It's refreshing and will cool you down instantly whilst retaining a certain elegance. Okay, imagine you're watching the sunrise on a warm summer morning. You're drinking some oolong tea and you're surrounded by the stillness and calmness before the day starts. That is what Wulong Cha makes me think of. So it has like a bit of a meditative aspect, really calming, yet still, as I said, elegant and refreshing. In terms of performance on my skin, it lasts around seven hours with moderate projection, which is really good for a tea perfume. I have yet to find a tea fragrance that is fresh and that lasts longer than this one. So tea lovers, you must try Wulong Cha can't recommend it enough. Fantastic fresh tea scent. And finally, we have Thé d'Arbuca by L'Orchestre Parfum. Don't be fooled by the name, even though it says tea, this is more of an imaginary tea. I think this is what the brand described the fragrance as. But to be honest, I don't get much tea at all. To me, it is an explosion of spices and resins. It's dark, enigmatic, and very powerful, so you need to intensely love spicy fragrances to enjoy this scent. To my nose, it's crushed spices wrapped in resins and amber, and I also get a light licorice facet, which adds a barely there touch of sweetness. But truly, this is a cocktail of spices. Because this fragrance is so dense and thick and really powerful, I would recommend wearing it in the colder months, so autumn and winter time, but also maybe colder summer evenings because it can be a little bit much in high heat situations. And in terms of performance, this is beast mode on my skin. It lasts over 11 hours with a strong projection. And that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and remember, spread the fragrant love.